I want to show you a couple of things that are going to make your life using R and R Studio a little bit easier. Uh, the first one may seem a little bit silly, but maybe not. So the first thing you should do is create some sort of folder for this course. Um, so you might create this folder inside of documents, or you could even create it on your desktop. Uh, you may have other locations you want to put it. The only requirement is that you should not put it in your downloads folder. So for those of you with a Mac, you can open up the Finder, which is down here in the lower left-hand corner. Um, and once you get there, you may have... Um, you can click on either Documents or Desktop, or again, there may be another folder you want to uh, put it in. And then you can simply uh, right-click, click on New Folder, and then you should give this folder a reasonable name. So calling it something like um, stat 155 or stat 112, depending on the course you're taking. Um, just a couple tips. Uh, it's best not to have any spaces in that name. So if you want to sort of separate them, some things, use things like underscores or dashes. So I could call this stat underscore 112 if I wanted to. And then once you have that folder created, this is the spot where you should save everything for this course. Okay, so now let's jump over to our studio. So for example, if I was to create an R Markdown file, I would maybe go File, New File, R Markdown, and just follow these prompts. And here's my document, and the very first thing I should do is I should go to File, Save As, and I should navigate to that folder I just created. So for me, it's Documents, Stat 112, and I would click Save. And then notice if I make any changes in here, like maybe I delete a bunch of things, Notice that now this is uh, shows up in red, and it has a little star next to it. Um, this is telling me that this document is not saved, so this is not like Google Docs. It does not auto-save for me, so I need to click on this little uh, disk icon, which will let me save it, and now it has been saved. So you should plan on saving often as you're working through things. So if I type hello world, if I can type, um, you know, I should save every so often. Um, the other thing you should do um, inside of our studio is if you go to tools, global options, in this general section, mine actually already looks like how I want it to, but most of you will have this box that says restore our data into workspace at startup checked. You should uncheck that box just like I have it. And then this save workspace to our data on exit, you should click never. So I believe right now it's uh, the default is to ask. So you want that on never and then click OK. And then when you leave the class, or at least maybe at the end of the day, you should make sure that anything you have open is saved, and you should then click this red X to exit from our studio. Um, when you open our studio again, you should actually either um, go to the Finder and go to your document and open it from there. Or you should go to something like the launch pad and um, launch 
R Studio from there. Um, but if I do go to the Finder, I can click on Untitled, and it's going to open that file. Um, the other thing I want to show you is oftentimes you'll be do downloading our Markdown files that I've created. So for example, this isn't on my Moodle page from last semester. If you download this file called R Basics, notice that once I download it, I can click on it and it'll open it. Um, but if I kind of scroll over it, you can see that the folder that this is saved in is my downloads folder. That is not where I want this file. So once you download the file and open it in R, R Studio, the first thing you should go to do is go to File, Save As. See, right now it's in my downloads folder. So I want to navigate to where I just was. So um, it actually shows up in my recent places, but just to show you how I would do that in case it doesn't show up there, I can go to Documents, Stat 112, and um, I should probably get rid of this. I've clearly downloaded this file a lot. So I'm going to save this as R Basics. If I click Save, um, now if I kind of mouse over this, you'll see that it's in that folder that I had created. Okay, I think that's all for this topic.